Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Can I just ask a man who watched this a question? You see, the thing is, I'm currently suffering with a thing called man flu. My wife and I were wondering how internationally recognised man flu was. If you've heard of man flu before and live outside the UK, can you comment below this video? Anyway, I'm going to try and read Deuteronomy chapter 26 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask as I read your word that you reveal something new to me. It also ask as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. It shall be, when you have come into the land which Yahweh your God gives you, for an inheritance, possesses and dwell in it, that you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you shall bring in from your land that Yahweh your God gives you. You shall put it in a basket, and shall go to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. You shall come to the priest, it shall be in those days, and tell him, I profess today to Yahweh your God, that I have come to the land which Yahweh swore to our fathers to give us. The priest shall take the basket out of your hand, and set it down before Yahweh your God's altar. You shall answer, and say before Yahweh your God, My father was a Syrian, ready to perish. He went down into Egypt, and lived there few in number. Then he became a great, mighty and populous nation. The Egyptians mistreated us, afflicted us, and enslaved us. Then we cried out to Yahweh, the God of our fathers. Yahweh heard our voice, and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. Yahweh brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand, with an outstretched arm, with great terror, with signs and with wonders. And he has brought us into this place, and he has given us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And look, I have brought the first of the fruit of the ground, which you, Yahweh, have given me. You shall set it down before Yahweh God, and worship before Yahweh your God. You shall rejoice in all the good which Yahweh your God has given to you, to your house, you, and the Levite, and the foreigner who is among you. When you have finished tithing, or the tithe of your increase in the third year, which is the year of tithing, and you shall give it to the Levite, to the foreigner, to the fatherless, and to the widow, that you may eat within your gates and be filled. You shall say, before Yahweh your God, I have put away the holy things out of my house, and also have given them to the Levite, to the foreigner, to the fatherless, and to the widow, according to all your commandment, which you have commanded me. I have not gone against any of your commandments, neither have I forgotten them. I have not eaten of it in my morning, neither have I removed any of it when I was unclean, nor given of it for the dead. I have listened to Yahweh my God's voice, I have done according to all that you have commanded me. Look down from your holy habitation, from heaven, and bless your people Israel, and the ground which you have given us, as you swore to our fathers, the land flowing with milk and honey. Today Yahweh your God commands you to obey these laws and traditions. You shall therefore keep and do them with all your heart, with all your soul. You have declared today that Yahweh is your God, that you would walk in his ways and keep his laws and his commandments and his traditions and listen to his voice. Yahweh has declared today that you are a people for his own possession, as he has promised you that you should keep all his commandments. He will make you high above all nations that he has made in praise in name and in honour, that you may be a holy people to Yahweh God, as he has spoken.